Hey, this is Billy, the permaculture pimp daddy from Permapastures Farm. Today, we're going to talk about the benefits of having your nitrogen fixers with your productive trees. Before we talk about the nitrogen fixers, I want to go ahead and give a brief update on this and uh, show what changes that we've made. I want to show you something of a trick that uh, we use all the time in the electrical trade. It'll probably help you out out there. Anyway, after a few rain events, this bad boy is filled to the brim. In fact, the little spillway here has definitely been, been being used. But I want to thank my homeboy from uh, the Conrad Homestead for getting me squared away on the right valve to use. Um, they didn't have the right one when I first went through, so I got, you know, one of them little twisty bib numbers. And uh, after watching his video talking about the very same thing, it made a whole lot more sense to take it all apart and put in a ball valve. It's going to, the pressure is much, much higher. And watch this. Let's see if we can wash Chloe away. Well, this thing is kicking out of there. So let's, we're going to put a hose onto it, take it down the hill, and instead of carrying you know five gallon buckets everywhere which is what we have been doing we basically take it all the way down this hill uh preferably with the use of a truck or sometimes the subaru we get it down the hill and then we got to walk it over to where we need well this baby right here is going to go a long way now there's so much more we're going to do in the future but right now it's going to be gravity fed from where it is here on this hill to maybe a hundred feet down the hill. This bad boy is going to save me all kinds of back breaking work carrying five gallon buckets around. So with that said, it's time to get hot. Ain't that right, Chloe? All right, so we got the hose hooked up. So instead of just rolling it out like this, and you can do that if you want, but you're going to realize how quickly your forearms get wore out when you got a hundred foot hose. Now we do this with wire. We do it with all kinds of stuff. Anything that's essentially on a coil, it can be a brand new extension, uh, extension cord. It doesn't matter. Same trick still works no matter what. So check it out. Instead of rolling it off like so, I'm just gonna take one, two, three, let's say, flip it around, then take off three this way. One, two, three. Now, as I walk, it'll straighten itself out. And it'll get better as I move along. All right, so here we are, 150, not quite 200 feet. It's actually about 150 feet away. Um, thing is, I didn't have enough hose, but that's okay. I mean, it's just nothing more than adding a little bit more. But look at that, look at that pressure. That is not bad at all. Let's go ahead and stick it on uh, jet. Look at that, yeah. So anyway, this is done. So no more carrying buckets all the way up there, all the way down here. Bam, this part is solution squared away. So time to move on to the next thing. Let's talk about some nitrogen fixtures. All right, just a brief update on that instant garden because it's on the way to talk about the nitrogen fixtures. And there's actually a couple of them situated right in here. Well, this is, I mean, sweet potatoes. We, they got put in late, so, you know, it's all good. We're working around it. We got some acorn squash over there. We got some pumpkins, um, you name it. I mean, it's all growing right in here and it's requiring very, very little from us. But now along the way, because what you don't see right up that way is a uh, black locust and it's um, setting out volunteers everywhere. But right now we're gonna leave it. We don't wanna take it out yet because what you don't know is that right next to this black locust that we will coppice will be a productive tree. I think it's gonna be a, a pear in that area right there. We got uh, blueberries, we got all kinds of stuff that's small right now, it's coming through, but we got more of the same. We got more squash, we got pumpkins back in there. Now it may look haphazard, but it's really not. Imagine a food forest in your garden. That's exactly what we got going here. So we get down a little bit more of, uh, it looks, it's almost like a ground cover, this sweet potato here which ought to be getting real close to harvest. Got more black locust in there. We got tomatoes in here, uh, some ones in here we got to actually pick. But the biggest reason we're doing this video right now is to talk about this specimen. Hang on, I got to get this. 
Look at that. Hmm. Superb. Now let's talk about something else that's pretty darn awesome. This apple right here came just like all the others is bare root trees. We planted them and uh, we did everything. You can go back and watch those videos if you want, but that's not the most important thing I want to communicate today. The awesome thing about it is just like I showed you a moment ago with the other black locusts up the hill, we have a volunteer black locust and I can't really show it to you, but it's in the same mulch ring and it's a sheer accident. We didn't plan it that way, but that's just how it is. The reason I'm pointing that out is because there is some debate out there among certain people saying whether or not you should put nitrogen fixers in the same hole or does the trees have any benefit? We've seen the benefits up close and personal, but this is a total accident. And the reason I'm selecting this one to point out is because this tree, which came in at about two feet long, this thing is every bit of six and a half, maybe even seven feet right now. What's crazy about all that is that every other tree that we planted up and down here, the tallest one we have is maybe the, the most robust. It might be five feet at the very most. Now, as a basis of comparison, that's an apple. Okay, we got more. These are black locusts that we actually planted in there. That's the third tree, remember, in the trio. That's the third tree. Now, this is one comparable. There it is. It doesn't have the same nitrogen fixer in the hole, but look at it here. So, folks, the point is, what I'm trying to get out, now, we, now the comfrey, if you look at this, this stuff's growing great. And we'll do a video in the future on all the things we have in here in terms of guilds. We'll also do a video on how this straw that we just put down in here a month ago, come and get a close look at it. If you just pull back just a little bit, this is how you know you're making soil. See that? This is all this stuff. Everything that we piled on here is breaking down. So folks, it's, it's, it's awesome and fun. This is part of the beauty of doing stuff like this is that you get to see these transformations. But like I said, for anybody out there that has any debate on whether or not putting a, nit uh, a nitrogen fixer in the same hole as your productive tree, there's a classic example. We've seen it before because we've done it before on purpose. Just so happens in that particular case, it is a complete accident. So in the future, we'll cover more about guilds. Like I said, we got some comfrey here. We got a little bit of this and that all the way around here. We'll go back to that and give an update once, um, once things get fully rolling around here in, in the fall. But the cool thing is, is nitrogen fixers, for all the people that say there is no evidence out there, I just showed you some. And uh, there's nitrogen fixers all up and down here. Now, the cool thing about it is, when we go back there, we're going to coppice or prune every nitrogen fixing tree that we plant in the same holes. Okay? So if we pollard, it's going to be up here. If we coppice, it's going to be down here. The cool thing is, is every single time you do that, the roots on those trees that you pollard or coppice, they self prune as well, adding more benefit to the soil. Folks, in my view, it's a no-lose situation when you when you add a nitrogen fixer and plus all the other benefits where it acts almost as a minefield for any would-be bugs that want to get in there and damage your stuff. So I won't belabor the point. I just want to I just want to stick to the facts here. Nitrogen fixers work. And I'm not even going to get into all the other benefits that the bees and remember this is permaculture. Nothing works in a vacuum. So it's like the fingers of your hand. That's how everything works. This is Billy, the permaculture pimp daddy from Perma Pastures Farm, where pimp stands for permaculture is my passion, because it really is. We'll see you next time.